Okay, winding up for a big break here. A little bit of bottom left. And that's a pretty good split. Have I got a shot on the one ball? Yes. Pretty easy shot, but it would be nice to have the angle to actually drop down and play the two ball in the same corner. So I'm going to have to top this through. And I might actually get quite close to the two ball here. So let's just see. Close, but actually I've got a good angle now. And what I'm thinking here is, do I actually try and hold this and play the red three in the top right-hand corner? But in the end, I decide to go up the table. But I should have been much closer to the middle of the table there because I've left a funny angle. So now I'm going to have to go all the way across the side of the table and back across. So I'm playing this a little bit of right hand side, maybe a little bit of bottom as well. And there you can see the spin take effect. Now I've got a pretty simple shot on this four ball. Just stun it off the side rail. Could have got into that a little bit more, but I feel pretty comfortable on this five ball. Just have to roll it off the side rail and back onto the other side rail. Just a little bit of top spin there. Left myself the perfect angle now on the seven ball. Just have to stun this across, knowing that I've got the perfect angle on the eight ball. And here I'm just going to aim with a little bit of top spin, maybe a touch of right hand side, and just play this very firmly. So it swings round off the two cushions and comes into the line of shot for an easy nine ball. <laughs> 